Now there is a uh, uh, House bill that you would suspect that will come out of all of this uh, to try to use this uh, for uh, the purposes of the left. Uh, one, of the, one of the things that this bill is stating that uh, the federal privacy requirements that were put together and passed in 1996 it's making it sound like it doesn't supersede the federal privacy and confidentiality requirements um, from a health insurance, uh, uh, it's a portability and accountability uh, uh, program. I can't remember. I'm sorry. I'm struggling trying to remember uh, the... Uh, there was an act passed in 1996. I don't know why I can remember the date because it's a number, I guess. But um, there was an act passed in 1996 about health insurance and certain things you can and can't do with health insurance and all this uh, accountability that accountability that went when a health insurance company insured somebody and got information about their health and all of those kinds of things as it related to public health public health services. So in other words, they, they, there are certain accountability measures that they could disclose, not disclose, so on and so forth. And it talks about that this bill doesn't supersede that. First of all, that is a joke at best. So that was, the, that was my red flag when I started looking at this, and that's, that's what uh, is making me dig in a little bit deeper in that. Because what we need to understand, and this happens all the time, that the American people will rise up and fight a bill like this when it is too late. It's totally irrelevant. See, the bill we should have rose up and fought were the bills that are, are the conditions that are in Obamacare. We already missed this. The, the things the things that they are are wanting to do might violate a tiny little piece of a health care privacy act from 1996 that is totally different than what is privacy now under Obamacare but it's a different act for a different uh, government agency, so it doesn't count. And my thoughts are that this bill might make Obamacare even worse, if that's possible. I don't know that Obamacare can get worse from a loss of privacy and accountability. I don't think it can get any worse for the American people, to be honest with you. The difference is the American people don't know how bad that is, nor do they care. They say they care. They would like to think they care. And if they do really care, it's too late to care. So I'm not trying to sound cynical, but we've got to be careful about the battles we choose. I don't want to fight a battle when there's a, a greater battle that's going to make this one seem irrelevant. So that was one of the red flags. The other red flags is that from what I can see about the eligibility and the federally required health center, it, it includes um, faith-based organizations, and that is very clearly spelled out. So now I get concerned about how this is going to impact MediShare and Samaritan Ministries, most importantly, and all the other medical sharing ministries. Hey, remember to click the subscribe button right here on the screen. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when new content is added. And more importantly than anything, you don't want to miss all three live hours 
of financial issues every day from 9 to noon. And you can watch it on FISM.TV. That's FISM.TV.